Hey, everybody. How's it going? How are you all doing? Today, we are taking a look at Inkbound. Whoa. So this is, um, this is something from a, a while ago that, so it, it's by the same devs who brought you Monster Train, uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, Monster Train's good fun. So it's by the same devs as, as that. Um, it's sort of a co-op, solo, roguelike, dungeon crawler thing, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so I thought, you know what? Take a look at it. My name cannot be changed and will be publicly visible. Well, boring. You wait upon the shore of an empty expanse. The, the sea, sea of ink. of ink. In the dark ahead of you, a speck blinks a light and pulses as you move deeper into the void. Last? Last. Will. The glowing mode of light blinks more brightly with your approach. As you reach to touch it, it inscribes strange glyphs into the air. Some unknown language. That is an unknown language. Embrace the light? Um... Sure. The light begins to surge, growing brighter and brighter until all you can see is light. And then, gone, gone. A moment later, it blinks a light by your side, found for you. Okay, so I've got a got a light following me around. This is very, very cool looking. So I threw them into the sea and said, "That's how you raise a child." <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nib and Ben. Maybe this is the one, Nib. Ben, the poor soul is a needless. You know as well as I that they are unable to speak or to bind. But they've bound a new quill. Arthur knows they don't like those needless very much, so something has to be going on. That makes no sense. These stories have been fading long before more quills started showing up. Best leave the needless to fall right back in the sea where they came. Ah, why don't we at least let them choose their aspect and forms first? It'd be a shame to not even see what they choose to be. Yeah. Uh, so magma miner, keep swinging your hammer to build up heat and deal bonus damage, but don't stop lest you risk cooling down. Lost cloak, dash around the battlefield seeking your enemy's weaknesses. And unleash moss cloaks, shuriken in a deadly flurry. Uh, Weaver, an artisan with the power to spin magical threads. Control the battlefield and let your combat let combat become your work of art. Um, let's go with the Weaver. Presumably, there'll be options to. Oh, you can anyway. Uh, yeah. Hairstyle. Primary color is... Accent color. Um... go like that and then face paint
Ah, there we go. So hang on, if we just do take everything off here. That's just the skin color. All right, let's put a triangle on that bottom layer. Get rid of that. Uh, and push it. Oh, hang on. This way, move it sort of down a bit and make it smaller. And then an eye. White eyes that we move up. Like that. Oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then can we give a, a mouth? Is there a mouth of some description? Oh, no, those are good. Those are good. Hang on. Wait, can we turn those into circles? That almost makes those googly. And then if we take another white eye... I can't make them, I can't make them smaller. Maybe if we make these ones bigger. And these ones even bigger. Move those down to sort of there. Oh yeah, look at those eyes. <laughs> Uh Shame I can't make that any further down. Yeah, that's good. Let's um let's have a normal battle. Combat in Inkbound is turn based. Right now it's your turn. The enemies are showing what they plan to do in their turn. Moving consumes a resource called Will. It won't deplete until you use an ability. You have a limited amount of Will each turn. Uh, the arrival of trying to destroy the world. Move near this enemy and to prepare an attack. Uh, your abilities are called Bindings. Click on the first one to start aiming. Move your mouse to aim the targeting area until the enemy highlights and click the left mouse button to use a binding. Bindings also consume will. Great, when you're done with your turn, click the end turn button. Enemy attack during their turn. You'll need to watch your health to ensure you stay alive. Uh, the glowing blue orb spawned at the start of your turn. You can act these reduced binding cooldowns or restore will. Try clicking on it now.
Okay, so you thread, and then you are... Yeah, so you inflict threaded, and then you deal 25 damage for each thread you have. Okay. You! Needless! Looks like you're not dead yet, so that's a good sign. And the form you chose is wonderful! Yes, you've bound the quill. Quite unusual. It seems the ink has plans for you. Not the ink. Oh, yes, it does. You've already performed bindings and everything. Quite the spectacle it was. Hmm, yes. A needless and a binder. Well, the guardian ahead will not be as kind. Should you defeat it, perhaps you and your quill truly are fated for something grander than the sea. Or not. Uh, Guardian of the Void. Face this last Guardian and find an exit from the Sea of Ink. Okay, so... Kinda wanna go here. Can I do that? So now if I do that, I can do that. I might as well thread you as well. So I'm going to take some damage here. Your binding has gained a critical charge. Bindings have a chance to crit indicated by the flames around them will do bonus damage equal to your crit damage stat the next time they're used. There we go, get wrecked. Well, it seems you're a binder of some strength, though you will continue to find these anomalies spread throughout our worlds. They're taking all the ink away from us, making our stories fade away. Bad little unraveled, bad. For now though, it's time you leave this place and venture to the Athenium the center and stronghold for all these worlds. They don't like us much in there, so best if we say our goodbyes for now. But don't you worry, we'll see you soon. Oh good. The ink is not yet finished with you, Nicholas. Your form is young and still without purpose, but trust in your quill and you may just find it. To the Athenaeum.
You appear inside a cavernous hall, packed with emptiness, but full of stories. A massive clock of books and gears looms above the expanse. Tick, tick, tick. Away. From the countless black depths, damp breezes moan to life and stir the pages strewn about the rubble. Your quill urges you deeper into the cavernous space. Ah, so... Speak to the gatekeeper. The repository remains drained, thirsty for ink. The source of the ticket, a giant wheel of books and gears which all paths lead to. The heart of the Athena. Don't you touch that binary, Needless, or your next dive into the inkwell will be your last. If even one book shifts out of place, the worlds to which you travel might collapse entirely. Not a heart. A brain. Arthur be damned, another one. Turn in. All you needless just traipse in here, still damp from the sea from which you crawled. I thought that surely the ink bound had created you with more sense than that. Yet you all continue to surprise me. Well, Athenian now needless. And no binder worth their words is going to give you unfettered access to our stories without a proper approving. A short dive into the inkwell should give us a good idea of you. And at the very least, not a little sense to that empty head. Try not to drown too quickly. Create an inkwell portal in the Athenaeum. Reform enclosure. What are you? The shelves are lined with books of all sizes and materials. Gilded leather tomes stamped with dry facts of history. Feathery parchments filled with flowery script. Poetry ready to evaporate with a stiff breath. But all of them share the same sickness. Their pages are faded. The words within them becoming shadows of a memory of a story. Oh. Okay, let's do a dive. Enter the inkwell. Ha! Another needless. Always a welcome sight to see another one of you running around our worlds. You are one of the ones doing the hard work, after all. Well, the inkbound is trying, I'm sure, but you're actually the ones fighting those villains, nasty creatures. But you'll see that soon enough. Oh, and you can call me the scribe, but honestly, it's best you keep our meeting between us. As you approach the Sea of Ink, your quill picks up the trails of stolen ink tinged with the scent of the creatures that guard it. Your quill urges you to choose one of these trails, follow it, and reclaim the ink guarded by the foe waiting at the end. Um... Well, let's do Argolath. Some sort of currency, superior vault. Uh, call forth a vestige. Damage from magic sources deals 10% per point. 
Damage from magic sources deals. Gain two physical power. I think we'll go with C trickle. Uh, augment a binding. Uh, let's put elemental stitch on this. Uh, silent promenade. The venge wood. Let's go with this silent promenade. Uh, so all bindings gain to cost discount. The promenade sits empty as it has for ages. The last remnants of the silent city. Thanks, Quill. Um, common augment, quilling cage, tarnish vault. Let's go with this. Wait, can I not get in there? We go here, grab that power orb. Pop all of you. Oh wow, this is getting nasty. Okay, that left me at three health. So, restore HP, yes. 
This increase your stats. Open the stat screen by pressing Z. Uh, lengthy threads, further range and wide area, inflicting two stacks of burn. I think I'll go with lengthy threads. Uh, draft a binding. Inf okay, we'll we'll draft incendiary. Fifty-five damage in a small area, five stacks of burn. Uh, common augment, and then sure, we'll go with the tarnished vault. Probably gonna die horribly here. Thread. Bindings get a two. Yeah, I die there. The journey ended in silent promenade. Let's return home. You're to be counted amongst Arthur the Dam. This Athenian will drown in the filth you tracked in well before the sea takes us. Be grateful the Inkbound places more faith in you than do I. Since you've decided to return, you'll find a few more of us that remain here. The unraveled left us thin in numbers. We scattered after... <clears throat> Well, uh, but many have begun to return. You were made to serve Needless. So, meet the other binders of the Athenium and help them in whatever meager ways you can. Hurry, then. Vestige unlocked. Tiny hearthstone. The Counselor. a lot more of us counselors that is and everyone else i guess but just me now we well just me now make the rules around here more like laws i guess it's a bit complicated mozi just means that i record things that people do other people <laughs> which reminds me i've got a list of specific things i need done on the board behind me changes day to day but if you're free and you don't mind any help you give would be um, helpful.
Okay, fully augment bindings, inflict poison, critical hits, ascend bindings, meet the stigmatist. Strangers. It's a deep well. Ah, you. You are the stigmatist. Well, it's nice to be back again so fast. <laughs> Even if the place is a wreck. But the sight of all you needless buzzing around does give me a bit of hope. Surprised to hear we aren't as gruff as Grumpy Beard, huh? Well, sometimes a little yeast goes a long way. You can call me the stigmatist, craftswoman of forms and aspects. If you're looking to mix up your aspect, I'm your gal. Though it looks like you've got a solid one already. But if you ever do want to switch it up, go ahead and use that aspect apparatus over there. Got a couple other aspects for you to try out if you're feeling up to it. Oh, so the clairvoyant and the obelisk. I might give the moss cloak a go. Throw, dash. And smell the ink on you needless. Busy cleaning up the mess as those as less responsible binders, I gather. The ink bound, oh yes, their mess is much more than the others, I suppose. Um Visit the carver three times? Sure. Uh let's grab a tiny heartstone. Um, augment that with poison. Let's go to the Radiant Market. A once vibrant market serving binders throughout the ages, now reduced to rubble and ruin. The feats of the Athenium are plain to see. Grand. Grand in design, but vain in construct. Uh, let's grab this. Reduce all cooldowns by three. Oh, where did you guys come from? So you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You are... You're 
we're gonna go there so let's move dash through there You die. There we go. Uh, so increase my crit chance on your first turn, gain plus two will. Let's get the ink needle compass. So plus two, plus three crit chance, plus twelve crit damage. Um, let's get burn damage, and let's put poison dash on this. Uh, an ally, 200 damage in an arc, 5 stacks of bleed, 50 damage in a small area, 5 stacks of burn. Let's grab incendiary. Uh, let's grab another tarnished vault. I don't know what they do. go here we dash through there This is where people are going to come in. The purple goop is blight. It deals unpreventable damage to you when you take an action or end your turn in it. So here I'm going to take 7 damage. Here I'm going to die.
Am I gonna die once? So Meet the ink bound. You hear passing pages and manic mutters behind the door. Candlelight flickers at the bottom of the door. You knock on the door and immediately the muttering stops. As you turn to leave, you hear a rustling on the floor. A note with nothing but a list of tasks. None of them small. Okay, a list of tasks. Ignored by the ink bound? Well, <laughs> that's no real surprise. Your presence is at least known now. But that does not mean there is any more hope a larger threat to us all. I can tell by your vacant expression that you've no clue who this inkbound is. Only our chosen hero. Our fearless, fearless leader. leader. Most trusted protector. Our savior. A savior. While you and your quill gallivant through the woods to achieve some temporary victory, the inkbound toils away at a more permanent solution to these unraveled Regrettably, there is still work to be done. Thus, your creation. The garden's edge currently fades fastest. Your attention should be focused there to reclaim its ink for us. Track a new quest. Press X. Enter garden's quest. Uh, garden's edge. Uh, let's go find that. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Wandered into the radiant market, eh? <laughs> Can't say there's too much brightness left in that nightmare, though. More ghosts than stories left there, I'd wager. Though I guess there's not much difference. <laughs> Either way, best to keep your wits about you while you're there, Nicholas. Some of these books are crap. Let's give uh, let's give the magma miner a go. Well, you and your quills here seem to be getting on. The stronger the bond, the stronger the bindings. You used to have one bonded to me once. Closest friend I ever had. Closer than that, even. It's like, have you ever known someone so well and intimately you felt as if nothing separating you apart from mortal flesh? You and your quill at the end of it might as well be the same soul. Makes you think. Someone was hurting that soul, that piece of you. What the hells would make them travel to make them sure don't do more? I guess I only... Um, I can do this because presumably at some point I'll pick up the burn thing. Um, on defeating an enemy, on hitting one stack of bleed. Scorching smash. So Garden's Edge is what's been recommended. A 
Underneath the brush, you can make out the remnants of a once well-manicured garden that's been lost to time and neglect. The overgrown forest that towers over you now retains some of that stillness, but none of the peace, only danger and hostility. Uh, let's grab the tarnished cave, cage. So here I'm going to take 10 damage. damage um grab the health here On your first turn, inflict four stacks of frostbite to all enemies. I mean, yeah. Uh, scorching leap. Two hundred damage in an arc. Inflict five stacks of bleed. Create a plant that grants one will for each turn it's on the ground. Thirty plus thirty for each stack of dread. Let's just do that. Cleave. You got a fish. Left click can inflict hex and shatter on all enemies. Oh no, let's go here. And we leap to there. Leap to there, grab that power orb, smack you twice. Let's 
Smack you. Do that. Grab that orb. There we go. Another victory. Uh, on combat, this siege gains plus two max HP and restores two. Yeah, we'll go with the seed. Don't even look at what the other ones are. Uh, plus two burn damage. Sure. Uh, ooh, quicken cleave. Extra damage or. More damage on the smash. Uh, heal and spend some quillings. Let's go heal. And shop. Store of value. Uh, on defeating an enemy, gain two stacks of Shattered Will. Uh, what does Shattered Will do? At ten stacks, gain a will. On hitting enemies the first time each turn, inflict three stacks of burn. Yeah, I mean, I'm just grabbing burn. Nice job with those unraveled so far, but you ain't lived until you fought a raven as big as a house. Though you probably have a lot more holes in you once you do, huh? <laughs> Welly well, you're a shiny new needless, aren't you? Got a quill and everything. Bet you've got quillins to spare too, huh? Well, be buying or be moving. This place ain't kind to idlers. Be buying or be moving. Um, well, let's go with a regular combat encounter. Okay, so this is a good place for a cleave. And I just do that.
There we go. It's a good amount of cash. Uh, we'll grab some more frostbite damage. Um, let's turn you into Scorching Leap. Ten damage and moderate error around you, thirty stacks of poison. Sure. Uh, let's get a story. Sea Breach. A stack of coins sits atop a desk, spilling off the sides. A shrouded figure continues to stack them without care for their precarious state. Although you can't see the face under the shroud, you feel the figure stop and stare straight at you. Suddenly they hold out their hands, one offering coins, one requesting aid. Um, give them coins? Shadowy Prophets. Uh, a boss battle. Can I... Gonna take one. Hello, oh, hey Travel Gaming, how's it going? Uh, let's go here. And inflict a ton of poison again. And a leap there. Take some damage from these guys. Just keep smacking you. Oh, nice. Uh, if you can't have the devs as a streamer on their Discord, they're giving streamers special emotes to give out to their community. So oh, cool. I did not know that. I have I've like literally downloaded this like an hour ago. Uh, so send a binding. Um. Yeah, I think I'll demolish. And an epic augment. Discounted. Oh, neat! Thanks, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for mentioning it. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out. 
Overside smash. Can hit more than one enemy. Yes. Yes, we want to we want to oversize the smash. Back to the sea of ink. Hello, young king. I think we've run out of things to talk about. Good luck. Font of wisdom. Uh, let's grab some more hit points. Oh, right. Okay, so I, I can't go into the garden again. So let's go to the Proving Grounds this time. This is cool. Uh, ooh, a superior vault. So these are all 500 health. So I go like that. I drop that. We have a, a little leaping smash to there. Wait, we leveled up. Gonna do that so we get some health. Font of wisdom. Let's increase crit chance. Uh, on being hit, deal seventy-five damage. Yeah. On your first turn, gain ten spikes stacks of spikes. On using a physical binding, uh, yeah. Shielding cleave, yeah. Uh, crafter's refuge, rift of the story, free binding augment, and the capability to purchase another. Or let's go see the carver again. already 
guess that Unbound is losing their touch. Oh, got a new name for you? Well, ink's out of the pen now, needless. Your big bad's got a name. Oh. <laughs> and a pretty stupid one at that. Well, be buying or be moving, needless. A store of value. Uh, on your turn, inflict one stack of shock on all enemies. On hitting an enemy, inflict inflicted with frostbite, inflict days. Like, that's really good. Because they're all getting frostbite to start with. But this also seems pretty good. And this. Yeah, maybe we go with the Thunderstruck Bell. Uh, we'll go with a regular combat encounter. Leap to this guy. So I've got some shield, two shields, so presumably that will block. And then you die. I need the health. Uh, quick. Yeah, quick leap. A fish. Uh, so leap a long distance and deal 50 damage in a moderate area and flick four stacks of burn. Leap a long distance and deal 35 damage in a huge area, gain one additional stack of heat for each enemy. Okay. Uh, let's go for a tethered shrine. Let's increase crit damage. Oh, potion. Hard combat encounter. 
Now I'll keep going on the normals because I don't have a huge amount of health. Ah, uh, no, I'm getting heat. So we can go... Let's grab that. Let's crater... here. Kill you. Do a bunch of damage there. Where are my stacks of heat? There it is. And then we can crater here. I'm gonna die here. I'm not gonna die. Who is going to do mo- oh, you. So if I go there... There we go, I die, and then all those die. But that seems like it was a good run. Yeah, that was a good run. Flowing Tears emote. Uh, Herald's Hammer. Thumbs up emote. Play rank, needless. I didn't defeat any of those. You know, it's as well drier than someone with your propensity for diving into the inkwell time and time again. Have you finally realized how inconsequential your role within the struggle? Or ink save me, have you finally learned some manners? Perhaps there is hope for you that needless.
Where do I... Okay, so that's my... Oh, hey, Sundance. You're causing quite the stir in here, Needless. Haven't seen this much commotion since the Inkbound decided to shut themselves in. Man, you should have seen old Greybeard. He went all first age on everyone. Silent but brutal. Well, some call me the Troubadour, but my friends call me Sundance. You can call me either, depending on how you're feeling about me at the time. Got the name since folks like to hear me play music from time to time. Been a bit hard to do without my old girl Petunia, though. You find her lying around, you bring her straight back, you hear? Petunia. You hear muffled words and papers shuffling from behind the massive door. But when you reach to enter, the handle remains still, and the door holds firm. Ah, leave me alone, you faceless creep. Oh, it's just you. Part of that whole no face thing. <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh at that. Shouldn't be here in the first place. Harsh. The deep well, as you peer down the well. Would only find an open darkness swallowed by an endless deep. If you strain to listen, you believe you can hear the faint rumble of rushing water. Yeah. Oh, the spooler. It's wonderful to be back here. It's been too long since we smelled fresh ink and a musty parchment. Oh, he's a quiet one, which means I'm left, con left to run my mouth, but I'm not complaining, oh ho ho. All the bright little baubles that brought you over, eh? Can't say I blame you. Kind of the point, ho. Oh. So where do I where do I go to like customize my character here That looks really really something So Oh, right, you get it there. This is the battle pass. Right, okay. That makes more sense now. That makes sense. How's everyone faring in the Athenaeum? Been an age since I've been back there. The gatekeeper still got his beard and a knot. I'll ask again to keep our meetings between us. Uh, so let's go with. The Shadow of Runestone. It's like dazed or critically hit 60 times. 
Um, I'll get the braided off. The braided geisha. Uh, critical bonk. And we go to the Vengewood. It's not the garden. Uh, what's the potion we get? It's a potion of power. A putrid place of rot and decay. Once a lush respite from the business of the Athenian that's since been reduced to waste. If any story should serve as a herald of things to come from this blight, this vengeful is sure it. So let's um, track that. Not that I've got anything that gets me shield. Um. Collecting by completing Garden's Edge tasks. Oh, so those are all the quests for that. Let's go with a get a tarnished vault here. Uh, one hundred and forty four damage to a single enemy. Sure. Smack you and give you another whack. Give you a whack there, give you a whack. Smack and smack. Increase my physical power there. On your turn, gain two physical power until the end of combat. On collecting an orb, lose one physical power. On your first turn, gain five stacks of evasive. Kind of like a turn based Hades, it does have that, that sort of feel to it. Um. Yeah, uh, kind of like uh, storybook, not storybook, uh, rogue book as well. In terms of sort of like being a book and diving into the book and trying to trying to sort that out. Uh, let's get. Hey, welcome hats. Welcome in, friends. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you find us here playing Inkbound, which is uh, from the makers of Monster Train. Uh, sort of a turn-based rogue-like thing. Bit like a bit like if Slay the Spire, if you could move around and run around 
and where positioning matters. Uh, it came out today in early access, so also it's got fishing. Uh, I'm being hit, 50% chance to inflict hex, 50% chance to inflict shattered. Or, or as uh, as Lucas Spine said, you know, turn-based, turn-based Hades. Uh, so these guys, what do you got? Snaring spike on hitting, inflict movement. So we'll go here, and we'll eat the puffer. Right, let's go back here, and let's. Leap to there and then give you a whack. I can't reach that. Oh, God, there's another one of you. Grab that power orb. Level up, smack you there. Bonk. All right, enjoy your uh, enjoy your uh, dinner. And uh, thanks for the raid. This is gonna hurt. Go here and then Okay, that gets rid of you. And they die to uh that thing. So getting another another ten another five stacks of evasive. Like, seems good. Um, I'm not dealing burn. Let's just deal poison damage, maybe. Uh, ooh, absorbing pilfer. Stealing health. Seems pretty neat. Uh, smoldering bonk, critical smash, quicken pilfer. Oh, Two hundred and fifty. Okay, it's a bit bit more than I uh, bit more than I'm hoping. Let's go for the hard and uh, get a glyph globule. Whatever one of those is. Oh, oh, I can afford, I can afford this now. Uh, and I need to inflict dazed. So let's go here. I can't reach that power orb. You're gonna pop there. Get rid of both of those.
Oh, that's because I haven't got enough will to move that far. Okay. Ow. Ow, this this really uh This is gonna hurt again. You're dazed, so you're not gonna do any damage, and then you dead. Nice. Uh, oh, that's what glyph globules are. So they let me re-roll these. Ah. Increased range can pilfer from multiple enemies at once, but will cost is increased. Uh, shielding leap. And we'll grab another potion. 15 ability power. Uh, gain four shield and two spikes of sty stacks of spiked. Yes, you just want shield here. Got a feeling this costs 75. Yeah. Sure, we'll we'll grab that. Can you move the standard of my life? Any any cash here? Okay, that's that. Okay, I guess we begin here. Might as well do that, and then at least that gets those two out of the way. Grim. Go over uh, 
there, because that gets me... Get some shield again. I need to remember to uh, fire these things off. Might as well pilfer a bit. Uh, you are fa- oh, you're immune to damage. You've been pilfered. New Vestige Unlocked Misting Bells. Power Orb. That. I'm gonna die horribly. But we uh, we got we got a bit more bit more rank. Yeah, still a good run. Right, I'm just gonna. Take a brief break, brief break, and then I will be uh, back shortly. So don't go away. <laughs> 